What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's Tom Diesel here uh, on another weekly video for you guys. Hope you guys had a great week. And uh, this week uh, we had uh, three days uh, weekend since uh, Memorial Day on, on, on Monday. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of time. And so I hope you guys take advantage of it uh, just to go over the videos and try to learn the things that you haven't you know got a time to learn yet uh, so this is uh, you know a great time for your learning curve or like uh, for your for you to learn more about stocks and be prepared for Tuesday today's topic I'm gonna go over to um, I'm, I'm just gonna address some of the DMs that I got from the members uh, basically they couldn't trade the first hour or like uh, they, they couldn't trade the first uh, three hours or basically the market opens uh, due to I don't know their schedule or the job uh, that uh, they have uh, so I thought it could be a good idea to go over this topic so today's topic is going to be how to trade a reversal time right or how to trade uh, outside of that first hour outside of that market opens and before I mm, even begin I just want to address something here this is not something that I would recommend uh, because uh, as you know most of us uh, most of the traders are trading or the edge is basically in the first three hours right and that's what most of us uh, or what most of the profitable traders uh, are doing uh, they try to trade the first three hours of the day and uh, you know call it a day after that and because the edge is not as good as the first three hours and as I discussed uh, you know earlier on my videos that uh, the first three hours are usually are the most volatility and also where the dumb money is you know uh, where the emotions uh, you know from uh, from all the traders are, are coming into the market and that's why we want to take advantage of that as the day goes by you know the volume is not there anymore and the owl goes and you know taking over so there's a lot harder to trade uh, after the first three hours but there are still some setup you know I might you know take from time to time but keep in mind that those are not really as good as uh, the first three hours so you have to keep that in mind as well uh, do that um, you know based on you know your risk or your time schedule just do that uh, uh, carefully and uh, and see if this you know fits you or not uh, it's uh, it really up to you later how you know to to decide so I'm, I'm just gonna go over that let's bring on the chart here as you can see um, NAVB um, it had a you know a nice move Thursday after hours uh, pop up some on some news or you know and uh, the next morning a gap up uh, you know a lot of volume uh, coming in this uh, to the pre-market uh, right here and you know make a new high and right after that right you, you can see in the first first hour usually where the most 930 to 1030 is where the most uh you know volume coming in into the day and that's why we want to take you know uh, um, advantage of that uh, uh, in the morning that's why the first hour of trading are usually the best that's uh what mic teaches and that's what we do every day but you know still if your schedule is is different or you have you know your different time zone whatever yeah i mean there are some certain uh, there are some setups that you can take and I think one of the um, easiest setup that's uh, is for long traders right 
So the, between 9.30 and 10.30, I think uh, uh, Harry did a video on that. 9.30 and 10.30 is basically if you short, that's, you know, your time frame, right? And that's how, how, how you can get the best uh, for sure uh, in the first hour. But after that, uh, the zombie times comes right from 10:30 uh, into into I don't know uh, one or like 2 p.m. Those early longs are in, in control, and right after that, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, to to the close. Or I I usually only trade from two to three. Uh, those are my reversal time uh, when uh, the stock is is really you know beaten or broken down and uh yeah so that's basically my time frame uh, uh like this if you can trade the first hour right from 9 30 to 10 30 that's usually best for short right and if you can do that try to go long or you know try to adapt long setup from 9 30 uh to uh, uh from from 10 30 to like uh two but also uh price action is everything right uh in this case here, I'm going to put this in an example. Um, NAVB had a huge move, you know, stuff right open and right, continue to fade down. Uh, at this point, the stock is broken, right? So let's say you couldn't trade the first hour or whatever. You want to come back at two. Let's say that, right? You, you want to trade reversal time instead of uh, trading this because, uh, you know, your schedule or you just couldn't afford it or like uh, you don't have time for this so you come back at two and your goal is to trade reversal time and by let's say you back at one or like two here and then you see the stock is already broken but you have to draw a key line here and uh, stock uh, you know is broken and it put out range already so as as I can see this one is the line and this one is the line right so and also the view app is around this area so if you are a short bias trader coming into 2 p.m. one of the things you need to look at is you want the stock to pop back to those level right to because the stock is really uh, broken down now, beaten, and and you want to short the pops into those major resistance and expecting a fade after that. But how how can you trade that? Usually the best way for me, or, or usually the best way I usually trade, it's like this. One of my rule, I don't want to give back thirty uh, percent, you know, on my profit. So if I'm up on the day in the first three, uh, you know, in the first hour. Uh, I want to come back at 2 p.m., but I'm just risking 30% or like, uh, you know, if 30% of my profits in the morning, I, that's the max that I would want to risk, right? But, in you know, when trading reversal time, I want the stock to put out a range for me to see. As you can see here, the range, the channel is from this line to this line, right? So basically, this is the channel. And if I'm back at 2 p.m., I would probably want to short it here and cover it here, right? But uh, yeah, in this case, as you can see, and you know, uh, it pops through that, and uh, as as I draw a line to this and that line, you can base off that as well. But keep in mind that the your risk should always be, you know, if this thing reclaim view app, you just have to stop there's no way for you to be holding into that reclaim because most of the time I see when at 3 p.m. happens is right here when it stock reclaim view app and it could easily break a new high so that's one of the strategy I went over last time how to spot a 2 p.m. Uh, you know uh, reversal uh, as a long uh, so you can you can uh, apply that to uh, one of the setups as, as well so uh, so at 2 p.m. either you're gonna trade the stock that's really beaten down or it's like really broken pops back to the you know the channel or the resistance line here but uh, keep in mind always risk overview app I mean in this case here I mean it pops here and rejects right what you want to see you don't mind this kind of pop through view app and then reject through view app and then react you don't mind that but what you should be worried about if stock pops all the way up here let me 
if the stock draw uh, pop all the way back up here and then dips at view app and then holding over view app holding like this sideways not under but in here and then that's you know the huge red flag for you to know that all right so the stock really beaten down now but it reclaimed overview app already and it's base overview app so that's a, one of the sign that you shouldn't be shorting any longer and um, if you uh, try to short a 2 p.m reversal you want the stock to pop to view app or like near near to view app and then reject rejects right the stock needs to stay under view app for the thesis to uh, to be valid so all right guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you wanna see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.